Hello, hello, hello. It's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to, oh, <laughs> welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so happy you are joining me today. It has been a little bit crazy because we have a brand new mini catalog that started today and celebration. This is my favorite time of year because you can get free stuff when you shop with Stampin' Up! And who doesn't love free stuff? Tonight I am going to be focusing on the Celebration 2024 offering and showing you all the free stuff that you can earn and <laughs> um, and some project ideas using all of those things. Uh, it has been kind of a crazy week, of course, because the first day of the week, Monday, was January 1st, so Happy New Year! And then the very next day, on the 2nd, I moved Claire back to campus. So the whole day was helping her pack, getting her back to school, helping her unpack at school, getting her all situated and driving home. I didn't get home till 10 p.m. <laughs> it was such a late night. And then catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. I think I have gotten back in touch with almost everybody. If you're still waiting to hear back from me, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I will finish catching up on emails after the video tonight. And so I just want to say thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here. I can't wait to share with you. Yes, I can open the book, Sharon. <laughs> uh, sorry about the delay tonight. I feel like, you know what? I've I don't know. I always apologize because I always feel bad, but this is my life. I literally uh, left a basketball game early to come home and uh, prepare for the video. And literally as I was getting ready to press go live, the dogs are at my feet begging to go outside and there's nobody else home. And so I've got to, got to let them out and get them out. And so here we are, but I'm ready to stamp with you and I hope you're ready to make some cards tonight. I would love to know as we go through everything tonight, tell me what your favorite celebration gift are. Now, if you're brand new to Stampin' Up, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome! Celebration is a, a promotion that Stampin' Up does every year. Um, and so if you've been shopping for a while with Stampin' Up, you know, you know what's up. Now, there are three different ways to earn freebies. The first way is to shop. And so for every $50 um, that you purchase, you can choose a free gift item like the watercolor melon stamp set or the sunny days designer paper. Now, there are quite a few options that are $50 gift options in the United States that might be a different purchase amount in other countries. Uh, but then there's also a couple options, three to be exact, that are free with a $100 order. And you're going to see that um, in these little bubbles next to the product. So we've got three items that are $100 order. That's the Jungle Pal dies, the so softly sophisticated bundle, which has an embossing folder and stamp set, and the detailed dogwood stamp set, which is kind of a extra large stamp set. So you get freebies for shopping. Now this is going on right now, starting today from January 4th through February 29th. Ooh, it's a leap year. <laughs> February 29th, 2023. Um, and so you can um, redeem as many as you want when you shop. So if you order um, $100, you can choose two things or one of the bigger ones. If you do $150, you could do three little ones or one of the big ones and one of the little ones. Just any kind of combination. So whatever, whatever you want to order, you can get as many free celebration gifts as you want. Now, if you order over $300 or host a party that's over $300, Stampin' Up! is going to give you an extra $30 to add on to your Stampin' Rewards. Oh yeah! So normally you get some freebies when you have an order over $150 and Stampin' Up! is just tacking onto that with some extra freebies. So that's over $300. Um, and I know that's a lot for one person to order. I know some of you do. <laughs> Um, but you can join up with a friend, right? If you've got a friend that loves to order Stampin' Up! too, order together and split the freebies, get the extra $30. Um, and share that together. Okay, the last way that you can earn freebies during celebration is when you join as a demonstrator. And Stampin' Up! has a kind of amazing special going on right now during celebration. When you join as a demonstrator, you can choose whatever you want in your starter kit. $125 in product for only $99 plus tax. And you can choose the Stampin' Up! Glass Knot Studio for free, a $60 value with this beautiful beautiful uh, but glass mat, the silicone, uh, what are they calling this? A silicone mat, which has um, four different
different palette squares that perfectly fit um, little stampin um, stampin spots like the ones that come in your um, kits and then also the cleaning cloth which I really love this thickness and this size and I have to be honest I just haven't had a chance with all the holidays to play with it yet so I haven't used it but mom and I will be featuring um, the glass mat in a coming um, Sunday stamping video and share some awesome techniques but from what I've heard it's just a really great surface to stamp on. So this is a $60 value. That's how much I paid for it, but you can get it for free when you join as a demonstrator during celebration. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want the glass mat, you don't have to choose it. You can choose instead um, the second option, which is 30 extra dollars in your starter kit. So instead of the glass mat, you can choose $155 in product for just 99 plus tax. Kind of amazing. There is a link in the video description. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to answer for you. I have over 150, 160 team members all across the United States, and we have so much fun. We've got a great online community here on Facebook, but I also offer things like Zoom meetings every month. Um, and stamp and cheer with mystery stamping for my team um, every month. So if you're not on Facebook, there's still lots of fun things to participate in. Um, and I have a monthly email newsletter with tips and ideas and all of my um, all of my class PDFs, calendar PDFs, all of the PDFs that I offer for sale, team members get for free. So it's just so much fun to be a Jubilant Stamper. All right, well, today I'm gonna focus on all the things that you can get when you shop. And so I have pulled out all of the freebies plus some card samples that I've received and made for card swaps. And we're going to make a couple cards as we go along. So we've got a lot to go over. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm just going to kind of start in the front of the celebration catalog and just step through each item. We'll make a couple cards as we go. And then I would love to hear from you what your favorites are. So I know what you want to see more of as we go along through celebration because we've got eight weeks, which seems like a long time, but I know it's going to go so fast. Um, okay. Joan's got a question. If you make more than one order, do, do the amounts add together? So the celebration gifts are, um, are for each individual order. So if you have an order that's $75, you'll earn one gift in the $50 price range. And then if you have another order that's $75, then you'll get one order. Uh, celebration gift on that order. But if you combine your orders together to do a $150 order, then you can choose three celebration gifts or the, the one little one, one big one. And then you also get host rewards. So it's definitely to your advantage to order in $50 increments during celebration um, or to combine your orders with a friend um, so that you can take advantage of those celebration Offering. So you want to make sure this is before tax and shipping, $50 before tax and shipping. So if you order $45, you are $5 short of getting that freebie. So um, great question, Joan. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment. Let me know. Um, Joan also says she had a glass mat years ago and gave it away. Um, she just didn't like um, that everything slid around. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how it is to stamp. It does have some um some great uh feet on the bottom which seems to keep the mat from sliding around on my desk and it's kind of a nice weight so it i think it's gonna be nice i don't know about stamping on it we'll find out tonight this will be my first time um stamping on it um and another question is the glass mat magnetic i don't think that it is magnetic um so if it is then <laughs> I, I, um, I am unaware of that. Um, oh, I'm so sorry that the picture is blurry for you. I am watching on my laptop and the picture seems fine to me. Um, Sharon says she's got a good picture there. So if you are experiencing some fuzziness, um, you might need to adjust your settings or maybe um, close out and go back into YouTube. I don't know why that works sometimes, but it does. Um, okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to go through each item 
that's in the book and then we're going to share some samples so the first item on page four of the celebration book is the uh, watercolor melon stamp set and i think this one is so much fun because it coordinates with one of my favorite new punches the modern oval punch did you get this one in the last mini catalog it was bundled with the modern garden stamp set and i think it's so fun that they use that same shape to coordinate with the watermelon so we're actually going to make a card let me show you some samples and then we're going to make a card with the watercolor melon here are some samples that i've received um let me show you the uh, so here's one from sandy carlson and we got a little foliage here that you can use kind of behind the watermelon. Uh, the one thing about this stamp set, it doesn't have any words. So you've got to come up with some words from other sets. Um, like this one that Sandy used, hope your day is sweet. I love how that goes with the watermelon. Um, what stamp set is this from? Because Mary Ellen Stites used the same um, sentiment on hers. Maybe it's a new one from the mini catalog. I'll have to I'll have to take a look and figure it out. And if you know, um, then <laughs> then let me know. Um, maybe you've you've got great eyes and have spotted this already. Um, Fonda, to my knowledge, nothing has sold out um, as of yet, so that is good. Um, but I I haven't um, I haven't double checked this afternoon or evening rather. So um, I'm not aware of anything that has sold out. So I think that's awesome. Um, all right, so out of the box thinking, I love this one from Anna Masternak, one of my team members. She used the watermelon and cut it in half and created a bowl or a dish and then used the leaves to create like a plant. I thought that was so fun. I love the wild wheat on this card and a little bit of designer paper, which is part of the... Um, I think the stippled rose paper, I think that's where that one comes from. I just thought this was really clever. Copper clay with mossy meadow, um, or maybe that's garden green, and then the wild wheat. And talk about out of the box thinking, look at this one from Faye Colwell and Liz Orr. Liz thought of some creative ways to use some of the images from this stamp set to create a puppy dog. Is that just the cutest? We have the little nose and the smile and the seeds or eyes. <laughs> and then the wedges over here have become ears on our cute little pup. This flower is a new one from the um, Happy Surprises. Or I think that's the name of the stamp set. Um, and then the hello there is from the Softly Sophisticated stamp set, another celebration um, item. Nicole and um, Kathleen are saying maybe that sentiment comes from the Cherry stamp set. Um, that could be from the, that is a good source of, um, of sweetness indeed. Um, I'm going to look and see the cherry set is in the annual catalog. You know what? I saw someone use the raindrop embossing folder for like a background of seeds. Ah, I just love it. Okay. I'm looking at, let's find the cherry punch and then that'll tell us, um, oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to tell us the page number that the stamp set is on but it did not um oh my goodness Ooh, here's a good one life is sweeter with you that's from the share a milkshake set and the cherry one's got to be around here somewhere right that's christmas that's for kindness Sending a big squeeze, zesty birthday. Ooh, ooh, here, well, here's a sweet, you are so sweet. This one from the Super Cool. I think they used this stamp set um, for the sample here. You are so sweet. Also, time spent together is the sweetest from the So Refreshing stamp set. That would go really well. Um, and, oh, come on, here we go. Um, hope your day is sweet. You know what? It doesn't look like it's from this, this set, but we have life is sweet. Wishing you a sweet birthday. Um, so actually it looks like there are quite a few stamp sets that have some sweet greetings that you can use, um, to go along with this watermelon stamp set. All right. Well, we're still going to search for that later. I know Annette, is that not just the cutest with the dog? <laughs> 
<laughs> Janice is loving it too. Yes, I think Liz um, was just so smart to think of that. And uh, she's, uh, she said once she saw it, she just had to make a card. She couldn't like let it go. And I think that's just so cute. So the front of the dog here, the, um, the muzzle, I guess, is the modern oval punch that coordinates with this. Um, Oh, thank you, Melissa. Uh, that goes the modern oval punch. Okay, Melissa is saying, um, the hope your day is sweet is from the ice cream swirl set. Brilliant. That's the one here on the cover in the mini catalog. I figured it had to be something from the mini catalog. I honestly just feel like I haven't had such a, a great look yet. Um, let's see, 37. Yep, there it is. Hope your day is sweet. Yum, yum. Another, another great, another great option. Melissa, thank you. It was going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I was just going to be quiet about it, but it was definitely going to drive me crazy. Okay, so that is the watercolor melon, but let's make a card with the watermelon because I, um, I haven't used this one yet. And so I was kind of, um, wanting to stamp with it. So we're going to stamp with the watercolor melon. I've cut some pieces ahead of time and I'm choosing to use flirty flamingo, real red and shaded spruce. I'm trying really hard not to make this look like a Christmas card. Whenever I use red and green, especially after Christmas, I just always feel like, Oh, it looks like a Christmas card, but they pulled it off here and used red and green. So I'm going to go with it. Now I have chosen a pattern of designer paper that is from the celebration most adored paper pack and I'm going to show you that paper pack um, later no maybe I'm just going to show it to you now because I don't think I have any other samples with that paper pack and um oh here it is okay yeah, I'll just show you all the papers right now. So we're using this one from the most adored. Now this paper is so fun, it's 12 by 12. All the celebration papers are 12 by 12. Um, and this one is a specialty paper. So this is an amazing um, value to get a specialty paper for free. Um, so on one side, we've got white with gold foil, some different designs flowers and plaid and swirl and then on the other side we've got some beautiful flirty flamingo and real red patterns um, and so this is going to be so fun to use with like that new mailbox set some of the valentine sets in the mini catalog um, but I thought that this plaid with the red and white and a little bit of flirty flamingo would be perfect for our um for our watermelon card. So I've chosen a piece of that and um, and that's where I drew my color inspiration. So we are gonna do some stamping and punching on this long, longer piece of basic white. I already have my stamps out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna start with the large watermelon and this is one of those stamp sets that is that, um, they call it distinctive so we get this like amazing detail and shading um that's kind of built into the stamp so you have the lighter areas and the darker areas and all that is part of that amazing stamp and then we're going to do the rind and this is really cool because the slice of watermelon also punches out from the same punch and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to do the rind and then we're going to add flirty flamingo. And then I'm going to do some seeds. And there are two different seeds. There's a three and then there's a one. And so I'm using the one that has three and I'm going to stamp the seeds kind of like around around the watermelon. Sorry if I was off camera and just a little bit, I don't think I was. Um, and now we're going to punch them out. So we're gonna use that modern oval punch and we're going to punch out the big watermelon and then, oh, oh no, I did it right, okay. <laughs> and then we're going to punch again and see how that just fits perfectly in the bottom of the oval? I thought that was so fun that they did that. So then you can take your scissors and you can just cut across the top to create your half watermelon and you didn't have to fussy cut it. I love it. Now, if you wanted to, you could create 
another one on this side. I think I'm actually going to just leave it with one um, on this one right now. And we're gonna come back to our card pieces. I have pre-cut a piece of basic white cardstock using the Radiating Stitches die. I love these. These are uh, one of the online exclusives that you can get. And there are um, three different rectangles that have these sort of stitches all the way around, as well as two circles and a heart. Such a fun die set. This one is called Radiating Stitches and it's in the online exclusives. It's item number 161595. And so I've already cut that ahead of time. And I'm going to use, instead of all the sweet greetings, I decided to use um, Enjoy Your Day from the Heartfelt Hellos. This is another um, stamp set that you can get for free during celebration. I've got some more samples to share when we get to that spot in the catalog. Um, but this is what I chose for the sentiment. So I've got Enjoy Your Day in real red. And then I'm going to layer our watermelon on there. So cute. I just love it. And we'll get some Stampin' Dimensionals out. Let's add all the layers onto our card. So I'm starting with the Flirty Flamingo card base. And this is five and a half by um, four and <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half cord and half. And then the designer paper is four inches by five and a quarter. And this is going to go on the front of the card. And then I've got a piece of shaded spruce that I think is one and three quarters. Mm -hmm. One and three quarters by four. And this is going to go across kind of the top. And then we're going to add our rectangle on. So I'm going to do Stampin' Dimensionals on the front. We'll save that one. Regular adhesive on um, on the watermelon, the big one, <laughs> and then we'll add, we'll add the, um, the slice at an angle, and then we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals under this piece as well, and put that on the center of the card. And hopefully we don't look too Christmassy <laughs> with our red and green we got some pink in there so i think we're okay and it's a watermelon so what other color are you going to use right i still have our tree up here and um i'm not looking forward to taking it down i just love the christmas tree so i guess i'm still just thinking christmas <laughs> All right, so here's the finished card with the watercolor melon stamp set. Tell me what you think about this stamp set. Is this one that is on your radar? Are you thinking about this one? Um, I think it's kind of a love it or leave it stamp set. But that's the great thing about free stamp sets is you're not paying for it anyway. So if you think you would enjoy the watercolor melon stamp set, you can get this one for free with a $50 order during celebration. All right, let's move on to our next item. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put everything. I guess I should have just gone from the back side. Where's our brochure? Let's get it back out and see where we're at. Our next item besides the watercolor melon is the Sunny Days designer paper. Now this one is one that you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration. It's a 12 by 12 paper pack, which coordinates beautifully with the Bright Skies bundle from the mini catalog. I'm gonna show you that because we're gonna make a card with this one too. So this 12 by 12 paper includes colors like pool party um, and coastal cabana I think shaded spruce some more of that real red petal pink some crushed curry oh my gosh I just love this one with the poppies this is kind of I feel like a bit of an eclectic paper because we definitely have like the cloud um rainbow sky theme but then also just some really fun ones with the fruit and the flowers um so this is a 12 by 12 paper you get two sheets each of the 12 by 12 paper and um I shared some cards with this one um, during my 12 days of Christmas video series. So you may have seen it. These three cards use um, the 
the sentiments from the Softly Said stamp set, an online exclusive. Um, and I just love these fun layouts that you could do with any designer paper that really show off the versatility of all these patterns. And then I have received some swaps. This one from Kay Cogbill. And she is bringing in that Bright Skies bundle that has the cloud dies that coordinate um, with this set, plus a little bit of this ribbon. This ribbon is kind of hiding. It is right down here, Pool Party Crinkle Ribbon. And this is another gift option during celebration that you can choose free with a $50 order. It's 10 yards of this Pool Party Crinkle Ribbon, and it is about 5 8 inch wide and um, just really kind of a fun ribbon. I have not used it yet on a card, um, but I love Pool Party because it's just such a versatile color and goes with so many different things. We're gonna see that a little bit on some other card swaps that I've received. But going back to the paper, Sunny Days, here's a card that I made for our team swap using that Bright Skies stamp set and a little bit of the designer paper. And then here's another one that uses the designer paper. Brighter skies are on the way. This one is from Natalie Travis, and she has brought in the cloud punch. So perfect to go with this designer paper. And uh, oh, I loved this one from Margot Richardson. She used some of that designer paper as well as the um, embossing folder from the Softly Sophisticated stamp set. I'm gonna show you that one in a little bit. And the cute new cow with the coordinating cow punch. Oh my gosh, so cute. This one I'm gonna open up and show to you. This has got kind of a fun fold. Um, the, the card front has um, the, the top half is cut off so you can see the inside and then it opens up um, so you can see the message in the bottom half. It's your special day. Oh my gosh, so cute. This one's on my list. I haven't gotten it yet, but um, I love how those cows go with it. So, so cute to see that one. This one is mom's card. Susan LaCroix created this card using several different um, celebration gifts, including the Sunny Days designer paper, that pool party ribbon, these little opaque gems, and the hello comes from the heartfelt hello stamp set. Does the cloud punch coordinate with the paper? That's a good question. Let's take a look. I don't think that any of the, the clouds necessarily go exactly with the punch, um, but that would have been a smart move if they had. Um, here you can see all of these clouds are much smaller um, than the punch, but I think that the punch coordinates really well with it. Um, and let's look at this other one. This larger paper, um, it does coordinate with the dies. I'm gonna show you those dies in just a second, but I don't really see any of these coordinating exactly. Like you could punch that out, you know, but it. I don't think any of them coordinate with the cloud punch specifically. There's also some paper, um, Oh, that's the other one, Mary saw that. There's also some paper that is blue. You know, I use most of it for, <laughs> for my swap. Um, the blue lines, you could punch that one and do some blue clouds like that. So that would be a fun one. Um, okay, let's take a look at the, um, the bundle that coordinates with this. And we're gonna make, we're going to make a card really quick um, using this stamp set. Okay. I just gotta find where I put everything. <laughs> okay, that's over here. Let me move my pieces out of the way. Here is the stamp set. It's called Bright Skies. This is in the red mini catalog, the January through April 2024 mini catalog, and it has coordinating dies. The Bright Skies bundle can be found on page 51 of the January through April mini catalog. So we've got a photopolymer stamp set with a couple different cloud images, as well as the sunshine, lightning bolt, some flowers, and some raindrops, and three awesome sentiments. Brighter skies are on their way, sprinkled with love, and you brighten my cloudy days. Now, this die set that coordinates and comes with the Bright Skies bundle um, includes some stitched clouds. There is one, two, three, oh, <laughs> and a solid one over here, four. And I did use those dies to die cut clouds from the designer paper. So I showed you that designer paper. 
um, this one here. And those clouds, or the clouds, the dies line up to die cut the clouds right from the paper. So I did that ahead of time um, for our card. And um, let's see, we're going to look at our inspiration. You know me, I'm loving to case the catalog. So right here on the inside of the cover, I thought that these cards were so cute. Um, one of them uses the designer paper and one of them uses the stamp set to kind of create the same look. So I have pre-cut some pieces um, from the designer paper and I'm using the basic gray for my card base. So I've got some designer paper. Now this is one where the top half of it is clouds and the bottom half is raindrops. And so I've kind of cut from the middle where you have a little bit of the clouds and a little bit of the raindrops. And then I'm going to add my die cut clouds kind of in between those two spots. And I have uh, mounted the sentiment that says, you brighten my cloudy days and the sun, because of course, what brightens the cloudy days, but the sunshine does. So let's do a little stamping and we'll get out Lucy and do some die cutting as well. And, um, and then we'll put our card together. So this one, uh, we're gonna start with the sentiment and hopefully I won't mess this up because I'm gonna stamp right on the designer paper. <laughs> it always makes me nervous to do this, but I love the look of it. You brighten my cloudy days. That was kind of perfect. And we're gonna just kind of add our clouds. And then on the scrap paper, I brought in a little bit of sunshine. So we're gonna use the sun dye. Melissa, I think you're right. That cloud punch did coordinate with the rainbow and sunshine designer paper that was in last year's mini catalog offering. Was it last year or the year before? I think it was just last year. It went so it went so fast. I can't keep track. Um, we have a die that coordinates with this sun. In fact, if you like the layered look, you can use two different dies to create your own sunshine with a stitch center and then the outline. But I'm just gonna stamp the outline or die cut the outline of the um, of the stamp shape and. Oh, I wasn't sure I was going to get that, but I think that's where it lines up. Looking pretty good. I definitely need to hold this one with a little sticky note. Get that out. And let's get out our die cutting machine. Little Lucy is so perfect for this job that is small. If you've been thinking about a purchase like the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, Celebration is such a perfect time for that because you get a little extra freebie when you are spending $50 or more. It's also a great time to buy your prepaid paper pumpkin kit subscription. The, um, the new kit for January coordinates with the perennial lavender suite. So I'm super excited about that. You wanna make sure that you subscribe by January 10th to get that. And you can put in your prepaid paper pumpkin order anytime during celebration and then redeem that when you're ready. All right, I've die cut the little sunshine. We're gonna put this right back on here so we don't lose it. And we will get our card put together. And use some regular adhesive and some Stampin' Dimensionals. Let's start with that designer paper. And this is going to go right in the middle. Now this is three and a quarter, three and a quarter inch by five and a half inches for the designer paper. And if you didn't have the designer paper, you could get a similar look by stamping um, clouds and then stamping raindrops like they have done on this card here. So very similar looks, just one uses the designer paper and one doesn't. And so instead they've stamped the images and die cut um, the clouds. So now we're gonna add our clouds with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna put Stampin' Dimensionals definitely behind the large one. And then the other ones, I think we're going to try to tuck. Now, oh, one more. Oh, so fun. 
Now my mission in 2024 is to send more cards. And one way to do that is to make more cards. <laughs> and the other way is to use the cards that you already have. I think I need to just, ah! <laughs> I, I need to move this Stampin' Dimensional over. I'll just get a new one um, so that it doesn't interfere. There we go. I'm going to add that back there. So I'm going to do a little adhesive. Um, our CEO, Stampin' Up! CEO, Sarah Douglas, has uh, a mission to eradicate loneliness. And I love the idea of that. So how can we do that? We can share our time with others. Uh, doing all kinds of things, but stamping is something that we all enjoy. So sharing your time and stamping with someone is one way that you can help eradicate loneliness. You can also let people know that you're thinking about them by sending them fun cards like this. You brighten my cloudy days. Oh my gosh, I just love this. <laughs> now, if you wanted to, you could get out your Wink of Stella and add that to the sunshine, make it sparkle a little bit. I want to bring in one more thing, and that is these fun little gems. This is another celebration freebie that you can choose for free when you order $50. This one is right here on page eight and nine, right in the fold. It's called the Opaque Faceted Gems. And you can tell I'm ready for another package because I've been using my gems. It comes with three different colors, Calypso Coral, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party. And I use these on, um, some of my swaps, which is why, <laughs> why I don't have a whole lot left. So I am going to um, bring in some of these blue ones and, um, and just kind of go on either side of the clouds there. You brighten my cloudy days. Oh, I, I was thinking originally that I would put them in here with the raindrops, but I kind of like it like that. All right, here's my second card of the evening using that sunny days designer paper and the opaque faceted gems, a fun new addition to the celebration offering. Here's the designer paper again. Tell me what you think about this one. It, this is definitely an interesting paper. Like I said, very eclectic, I feel like. Um, a little bit different from, um, from other paper. And this is back here on page five sunny days designer paper and I already showed you a whole bunch of samples um, using this paper so it's not just for the clouds and that fun bright skies bundle you can really create a lot of fun things with it okay let's keep going on our celebration tour we are looking through all the freebies that you can get and sharing project ideas so our next page is one of the most popular um designer papers from the celebration offering i know that because it is reflected in all of the swaps that i received from other demonstrators who are also just as excited about the flight and airy designer paper. So let's take a look at this paper. Now I, I've already shared some project ideas with it and you guys have seen this paper a little bit already, but oh, it is so beautiful. We've got some great colors in here, including boho blue, bubble bath, calypso coral, crumb cake, daffodil delight, flirty flamingo, fresh freesia, garden green, lost lagoon, misty moonlight, pecan pie, and soft sea foam. And you can see each um, Paige has some watercolor birds. So pretty. On the other side, we've got some coordinating patterns in different colors, including Fresh Freesia, Lost Lagoon, Boho Blue, Pecan Pie, and some floral images that use several of the different colors. I know this one is so gorgeous. Oh, mom, I think is going to be sharing um, another project using this designer paper in an, in an upcoming Sunday stamping um, with Susan and Julie video. But let me show you some samples that I've received um, in the card swaps that I participated in. This one is from Michelle Grimble. She used this new embossing folder that's part of the softly sophisticated stamp set. Have you guys been paying attention? Because I have already said this embossing folder a couple times. This is another popular 
popular choice when you're going to see these on lots of the cards. Michelle's used this stylish shape to die cut these stitched circles for this one. And the hello there also comes from a softly sophisticated stamp set. Um, this next card's from Betsy Kreider, and she used the bird and the branch from the hedgehog set. I love this callback to the annual catalog. This little branch goes so well with the designer paper, this floral design. Um, I just thought it was so clever. A card to say hello. Also, stylish shapes with those banners. I just love it. Yeah, I'm seeing so many of you saying that you ordered this designer paper. I'm telling you, it is definitely one of the most popular um, celebration items this year. Our next card is from Celine Kempton, and she used the sentiment from the heartfelt hellos, which we're going to see in a little bit, another celebration gift item, along with the white organdy ribbon, the glitter ribbon. I just love this ribbon. Online exclusive, it is similar to the navy and gold ribbon that we had in the mini catalog before this one. And then also we used to have a black um, organdy glitter ribbon that was really pretty. Um, a similar layout here. This one is from Tracy Jacobs. She used the same embossing folder from Softly Sophisticated. Um, and oh, I got to show you this one because this looks like it has a little a little fold. So this has a front that opens up. So instead of a regular card base, it's just the front that opens. I love that layering there. Misty Moonlight is the card base color here. And You're In My Thoughts is also from that softly sophisticated stamp set. A little bit of that silver um, organdy ribbon. I think that one carried over from the, um, the September through December mini catalog. The last two cards are the two that I am offering as a special little bonus project kit. Now, I'm offering an, a product share from the mini catalog, and I'm going to show it to you really quick now so you can see. Um, the January through April 2024 mini catalog product share includes six by six pieces of all the designer paper from the mini catalog. So you're going to get... Um, I'm not sure how many sheets this is, <laughs> but you're going to get all the new designer papers. I love the product share because it's just such a great way to try everything out without committing to buying a whole pack. So you just kind of get a little taste for everything in the mini catalog. The product share also includes um, one sheet of those paper butterflies and one of the gold foil note cards and beautiful laser cut envelopes. In addition, you're going to get one yard each of the three new ribbons that are in the January through April mini catalog. All of this for $22, a little sample, a little taste. And if you would like to, you can add on the perennial postage stamp set. And when you do that, I will give you a free sampling of the Flight and Airy Designer paper plus project materials to make both of those cards that I just showed you. Where'd the other one go? Um, so you'll get the card base and the um, die cut punched pieces um, and then some designer paper so that you can create these cards on your own. If you want to add on the dies and get the perennial postage stamp set and dies to your um, product share order, you can also choose a free celebration gift of your choice, a level one celebration gift. So if you're interested in the product share, um, I've already placed the first order, um, but it's not too late to sign up. You can still sign up for this. Um, go to tinyurl.com slash Jan Ape. 2024 product share. This information is in the video description right now, so you can check that out and head over there after the video to sign up for your product share. Um, so the perennial postage stamp set, if you add that on, then you'll get um, you'll get the materials to make these two cards. And I used the perennial postage stamp set um, to make both of these cards right there. I just love this paper. Isn't it beautiful? Tell me what you think about the flight and airy designer paper. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way again. And we will move on to our next item. Now, this is one that I haven't had a chance to do much with. The stamp set called Cradled in Love is such a cute little baby set. And I love that they have it paired it with this um, designer paper because I think the colors are just so soft and beautiful and go with it. I love the sample here um, where they've colored in. I think this is a card that I would definitely case. I received one swap card. This one is from, I don't have a name actually. Hold on a second. Um, 
Carol Stuckey. And this is actually the front of the card. So she used a stamp set from the annual catalog. And on the inside, she stamped that um, beautiful bassinet. And the Happy, Happy Mother's Day comes from another celebration stamp set called Heartfelt Hellos. I love the simpleness of stamping that white um, without color. You know how I feel about coloring. Um, and I think that's just such a fun way um, to add to that card. So this is definitely one I'm going to be playing with, even though I don't have any babies um, to welcome into my family anytime in the near future. <laughs> um, I do have a baby card I need to make and send. So I'm happy to have this option for, um, for creating. All right, let's move on to the next page. Oh, this is a good one too. The softly stippled designer paper coordinates with the stippled rose, stippled roses um, stamp set and dies from the mini catalog. And I'm not going to show, um, I'm not necessarily going to show that bundle. I don't have it pulled for you, but this designer paper is so gorgeous. It's a 12 by 12 designer paper with some fun colors, Calypso Coral, Wild Wheat, um, some Lost Lagoon, Pebbled Path, and pool party. And I just love that this designer paper um, is versatile. Even if you don't have the stippled rose stamp set, I think it is um, a fun one to use. In fact, we did see a card earlier that used some of the wild wheat pattern from this set right here. What was that card? Um, oh, here it is right there, that water, the watermelon card. Who would have thought? This one again was from Anna Masternak. Um, and so I just love the way that she combined those two celebration, um, celebration gift items to create a card. So really great backsides here. Um, and I did a video during the 12 days of Christmas where I created a simple card where I punched the center of the designer paper and then stamped a sentiment from the perennial postage stamp set and then put it up on Stampin' Dimensionals. And I think in the video I did these two, the Calypso Coral and Wild Wheat, and afterwards I did the Lost Lagoon. Um, and I actually think I like this one better. So you can let me know one, two, or three, which version of this card do you prefer? Um, do you like the Lost Lagoon or the Calypso Coral or the Wild Wheat better? Leave a comment and let me know. This is just a simple way to use the designer paper. I much prefer the card that my friend Meg Loven created for our card swap. Um, she did some fun stamping with that coordinating stippled roses stamp set um, in the wild wheat and um, pool party and then used other patterns from the designer paper to create this simple card. I love just that focal point. So pretty. Uh, and then of course those brush Brass butterflies. I love them, love them, love them. Another card here. This one's from Gina Rico, and she um, didn't use the designer paper, but I just wanted to pull it in because she did use that stippled roses stamp set, and it was a good um, example of the larger image so you can see what that looked like. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, so this is the stippled roses. Again, I'm definitely softly stippled. Definitely going to be playing some more with this designer paper. But tell me what you think. Is this one that you um, is this one that you like? Would you like to see more of the stippled, um, softly stippled designer paper? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, we're going to keep moving on and looking at some more freebies. Now, I already showed you these earlier. The opaque faceted gems is a celebration gift option. You can get this free with a $50 order. We also have the mostly adored 12 by 12 designer paper. And this is one I made that watermelon card earlier. If you just joined us, <laughs> I made the watermelon card with some of the plaid, but it's got some fun foil, um, foil sides. And so I am planning to show this one, um, in an upcoming Sunday stamping video, either this week or next week. So, uh, I'll, I'll give you some more ideas for this awesome uh, specialty designer paper with the gold foil. Moving right along, I think one of the most popular stamp sets for this celebration is going to be the Heartfelt Hellos. I think because it just has so many great versatile sentiments and it coordinates with the new Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. The Heartfelt Hello stamp set includes Dad, You're the Best, Happy Mother's Day, 
Love you more. Enjoy your day. Thinking of you this Easter and hello. So we have some very seasonal sentiments in here, but also some really great um, ones like hello and enjoy your day and love you more that can be used for so many things. So here are some cards that I received in my card swaps. This one's from Leanne Greff using that flight and airy designer paper. And I think this embossing folder is a little different. Nope, it is the softly sophisticated embossing folder. And she used some of the gems on there as well. Uh, oh, I love this layout from Barb Mulliken. She has used the hello, and then of course the flight and airy designer paper, some of the gems, and the die cut comes from the perennial postage dies. Next card is from Kathy Miller, who also used the Flight and Airy designer paper, some of the nested essential dies here, and the Flight and Airy designer paper. <laughs> Another Flight and Airy designer paper. This card is from Bonnie O'Neill, a little book binding. She combined the Petal Park flowers to create a layered flower, and the outline for this comes from the Heartfelt Hexagons bundle that is in the mini catalog. So she added the hello from the heartfelt hellos <laughs> uh, and the outline from the heartfelt hexagon. See how they coordinated those names? Uh, the next card is one that I created for one of our swaps. I have to tell you, I was going in a different direction with the card base color and at the last minute decided to change it to pecan pie and I'm kind of on the fence on how I feel about it. Um, I, I think it kind of goes with the petal pink. Um, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. Yay or nay on the pecan pie card base. You won't hurt my feelings. The designer paper is two inches by four inches. So two different patterns from the sunny days designer paper. And then some of those gems that are part of the celebration offering and that enjoy your day from the heartfelt hello stamp set. Um, one more card using the Love You More from um, this set. This is from Dina Rico again, and she used this new hybrid embossing folder that has the, the hearts. And so there's a die that fits in there if you want to die cut the hearts at the same time. So definitely one I will be playing with. It just arrived in a recent order. <laughs> oh, we got at least one yay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Everybody else brutally honest and that's a nay on the pecan pie. You know, I made up all the cards and then afterwards I was like, ah, I don't like it, but I can't tear apart 20 cards. <laughs> um, yay, Regine also says, uh, yay. It's not a bad color combination. It, uh, it's kind of unusual. And the thing, mom was here and she was kind of helping me. She was like, well, there's not any pecan pie in the designer paper. And so that was where she was sort of struggling. But I was hoping bringing in the pecan pie um, gems that that would kind of tie it in. Um, I know it's okay. You can take this idea and you can put it on different cardstock colors. <laughs> Actually, one of the things I had wished I had done was instead of using the strawberries, I would have used, I'm going to pull the paper back out and show you. I wish I had used this one, the poppies, and then I could have put it on the, um, the poppy parade cardstock, the red card base instead. And I could have done black for the sentiment and, um, a little bit of the crushed curry for the, um, the, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? The, the strip behind it. In fact, maybe, maybe we just need to remake this card. What, <laughs> um, what do you think? Should we remake this card really quick? I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Um, Heartfelt Hello is such a great little stamp set. Um, especially sometimes I like, I would never buy a stamp set that was just Mother's Day. So I kind of love having like the Mother's Day and the, and the dad in there and the Easter. That's another one that um, maybe I wouldn't necessarily have. Let me stick these back here and let's just remake this card. Let's make it better because I, I hear you guys on not, not, not being a big fan, but instead of enjoy your day, let's choose something different. Let's do the hello. And you, you will notice that I used the, um, 
Instead of the hexagon punch, I did use that modern oval punch. Um, I just thought that it fit the sentiment a little bit better than, um, than the hexagon, but you could definitely go either way or use whatever punch you have at home. All right, so we decided we're going to use, let me double check the colors here. Um, sunny days, okay, it is Poppy Parade. So I'm gonna do a Poppy Parade card base. Let's grab that out. I have card bases that are cut already. It's not fun. Whatever makes my life easier. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to cut my designer paper. And these pieces are going to be four inches or two inches by four inches. I'm going to do the two inch um, this way, the two inch width, and the four inches this way. And um, then we need... We're going to get a little piece out for our sentiment and we are going to, I'll just punch it first. Hello. And yellow, we talked about some of the crushed curry. I think my um, strip here is one inch by three or three and a quarter. Let's do one inch and <laughs> just kind of measuring. I'm going to do three and a quarter. I think I did three inch on the original. I'm already loving the colors so much better. <laughs> okay, let's stamp and put this together. We'll have to add some gems as well, but I think we can add the blue gems and it'll be okay. All right, this is going to go on to the oval. And some adhesive. I'm gonna fold this. Do you guys recognize this? Um, do you recognize this layout? This was one that I featured in my back pocket card layout. Um, I don't remember which month that was. Speaking of the back pocket card layouts, today I sold out the last pouch. I have a waiting list. Um, so if you go to the link, um, you can join the waiting list. And if I, um, if I can make up more, then um, I'll let you know. The thing that I ran out of actually was the pouches. Um, so sign up on the list and uh, if, you're, if you're still interested in the back pocket card layouts. But we're going to do more in, um, in January. We're going to do some back pocket layouts, not in January, but all year in 2024. We're going to continue having a new card layout every single month and you can get it for free when you place an order with me and if you order um if you order 40 dollars or more then you'll get my project kit for the month which features the back pocket card layout and um and two other card designs i'm looking for the gems here they are okay I'm bringing them in. You guys can you can tell me what you think, but I already know, I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> so this or that? Tell me, do you prefer the enjoy your day, or do you prefer the hello card? Um, <laughs> both of these use the um the heartfelt hello stamp set, and this is. Something you can get for free during celebration. Um, and it has so many uses. I think so many of my cards. Flight and Airy and the Heartfelt Hellos, definitely the most used <laughs> products among the swap cards that I've received. Oh, <laughs> you guys are pretty unanimous on not liking the brown. And it's pretty unanimous that you prefer the flowers and the poppy parade. I'm glad we had a chance to make that over. And I also do like this one better. So I'm with you. I hear you. <laughs> All right, let's move on. The next product um, in the book for us is the Trusty Toolbox Designer Paper. Tell me what you think about this one. Do you, um, do you have a loved one, family, or friends who is handy with tools? This is such a great designer paper, um, especially because it coordinates with the design, the stamp set called Trusty Tools. 
in the January through April mini catalog. Now this is the 12 by 12 designer paper. And of course it has dies. If you get the coordinating stamp set bundle, trusty tools, some of the dies will die cut images from the designer paper. I love the colors here. We've got some crushed curry. We've got some real red. We've got some basic gray or is that pebbled path rather. Look at that, it's like a ruler. More images that die cut. We've got paint brushes and saws and screwdrivers and hammers. And then the other side, some great patterns. Um, this one looks like a pegboard. I just love that. Um, so, so many different options. You might remember um, the video that I did for 12 Days of Christmas. I created a little gift box um, using this designer paper and I die cut so many images um, from the set. And um, this one was a fun one. I used the envelope box to create the card base and then a piece of designer paper that is six inches by 12 inches. Um, this is such a fun um, box layout for any designer paper. Um, if you are interested in seeing the video, I'll link it up in the video description when we're all done so you can see um, how I created this one. Super, super easy. And then it was just all about decorating the front. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing some confessions about how not uh, handy your <laughs> your significant others are. Um, Jim Jim can do some basic stuff with tools, but he's not um, he's he's not a, a carpenter, I'll say. But um, he knows more than I do about how to use everything. Um, all right, I've got some fun swaps using this designer paper. The first one from Rachel Chamberlain, um, using that ruler paper as the background, and then some. Uh, die cut and fussy cut images and then see there's that dad you're the best this one is from the heartfelt hellos stamp set um, so I think we have seen almost every single one of those sentiments used on a card uh, next one is from Kathy Gruby and she used I love this wood grain embossing folder in the background you're the most awesome dad that comes from the trusty tools um, bundle and then I love that she stamped on the grid paper can you see the grid lines on there and the torn paper I think that those just make the card so special um, next up is one from Amy Combs and she's got lots of details lots of layers on this card she's using some of the deckled circle dies a heartfelt hexagon punch back here some die cut shapes and then um, this die as well I love the little cork elements on there such a great option for the trusty tools let me open this up so you can see um, it has just kind of a fun um, opening I love when you can see the designer paper on the inside um, all right, so that's the trusty tool box designer paper and the trusty tools um, bundle that coordinates with it. The next thing that we have in the celebration brochure is the Jungle Pals. Oh, what do you guys think? Every single year, Stampin' Up! comes out with a cute little Critters um, stamp set. And so this year, it is the Jungle Pals stamp set, a clean mount rubber set with a lemur and a toucan and a sloth and an alligator or crocodile and a tiger. So fun. And what is better than a cute little stamp set? of course a cute little stamp set with coordinating dies <laughs> now these are two separate items during celebration so you can get the jungle pal stamp set free with a $50 order and you can get the jungle pal dies free with a $100 order so if you want to get them both you'll want to order $150 during celebration now if you're trying to decide on celebration items I will tell you that some of the celebration items may sell out before the end of the celebration promotion period. And the things that are most at risk are the dies and the specialty paper, like the most adored, um, because those are both produced overseas, whereas the stamp sets are all made here in the United States. All of the regular designer paper also made right here in the United States, so it's a lot easier for Stampin' Up! to restock those. Um, there might be periods of time where they temporarily sell out and then they come back, but the items like the dies, if they do sell out before the end of celebration, you're not going to see them again. So if you're interested in the jungle pal dies I would recommend making them a priority when you're ordering celebration I would make sure to order these early the jungle pal stamp set can be restocked before the end of celebration so um, definitely make the make the dies a priority if you if you can't get them both at the same time 
Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan either of um, of these, Joan. Debbie, I think it would help if this had designer paper. <laughs> I really think this would be um, a fun designer paper to have. Now, these th the samples in the catalog are so cute, and this is definitely on the list. Mom and I plan to showcase this in an upcoming Sunday stamping video, but we haven't played with it. I haven't played with it yet. I haven't made any cards yet. So um, I, I'm sure I'll come up with something fun. So definitely stay tuned. But here are some swap cards that I received. This one from Karen Snyder. Um, I just love how she did some really simple um, stamping, simple colors here. Granny Apple Green, Crushed Curry, some Garden Green and Pumpkin Pie. Um, she used the perennial postage dies for the background and the sentiment on this one. And this is a great way to get out of coloring. Instead of stamping and coloring, you can just stamp in black on the cardstock color and die cut like Jenny Miller did on the tiger for this card. Um, she also die cut the tree and the vine and of course stamped and colored those other images there. So cute. The last one I received comes from Mel Lamper and she also has stamped and colored the, pe the pecan. It's not a pecan, it's a toucan. <laughs> Um, and I think it's such fun. I, I love that the jungle animals um, really are a fun way to use bright and bold colors. And so that's what we see here. So definitely stay tuned for some more samples using the Jungle Pals. Um, and maybe we'll make our own designer paper to use with the Jungle Pals. We'll, we'll come up with something special. All right, well, I mentioned that the Jungle Pal dies are free with a $100 purchase. And the last two items um, in our celebration booklet are also items that you can get free with a $100 order. Um, the first one is called Softly Sophisticated. And this one is a bundle of two items. So you get the stamp set, Softly Sophisticated, as well as an embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder. Um, and... I'm trying to see if it has a name. It's just called the Softly Sophisticated Embossing Folder. Um, but it has sort of like a, an elegant, um, sort of dainty dotted um, kind of design. I love the stamp set, two-step stamp set here where you can stamp the leaves and then the flowers in another color. And you've got these flowers that go with these leaves and stems. And then there's three different sentiments. Hello there, you are in my thoughts and I really appreciate you. This one is one of my favorites and I can't believe I haven't made a card yet with it. Um, but I love the samples in the catalog and I did receive several cards using this bundle. This one's so gorgeous from Betsy Kreider. She used the vellum um, to emboss for the background here. And then the colors are Berry Burst and Granny Apple Green. I love the richness of these colors. Scallop contour dies for the foreground um, focal image. And then a little bit of the um, brush brass birds and dragonflies. This is an online exclusive item that was just added in November and such a perfect little dainty um, embellishment to add to the card. Next one comes from Susan Campfield and um, this one has a designer paper um, card front kind of that is glued to the front flap so you can see um, the designer paper on the inside and she also has stamped on the inside. She's used the colors Moody Mauve and Mossy Meadow. And this fun, dainty design comes from a mini catalog bundle um, that is the same suite as this designer paper came from. She also used the embossing folder here on the side of the card in the same misty, not misty moonlight, moody mauve <laughs> color. Um, I just love the elegance of these colors. Uh, the next one is from Monica Davis. And this reminds me of a card that is in the mini catalog, and I don't know if she uh, intentionally cased it. Maybe it's just similar. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a quick look. <laughs> oh, is that it right there? I think it was one that's in the bundles. And um, yes, I don't know if this is, I don't know if she intentionally copied it, but I, I caught, it caught my eye as being a similar design. She's using bubble bath for the card base with another layer that has the embossed cardstock. The blue designer paper comes from the delightfully eclectic paper from the annual catalog. And then she's stamping those flowers in crushed curry and bubble bath. The hello there is part of that um, part of that bundle or part of that stamp set right here. 
Um, just a gorgeous card. Love those colors. Um, and then one more. This one is from Margot Richardson, and she used the same die set I was going to show you in the catalog. Let me get it back out. Um, this one is such a pretty pretty bundle. Thoughtful Expressions. We're going to check it out on page 62. This is a brand new bundle in the January through April 2024 mini catalog. Um, so the, the bundle is called Thoughtful Expressions and it includes several different sizes of that fun rounded stitched label as well as more of a rectangular label. Um, the bundle includes stamp images like a hummingbird and flowers and has some also some really great sentiments in there as well. And Margot has used the designer paper that's in that bundle or that sweet poetic expressions as well as some of that silver edged organdy ribbon from the mini catalog that carried over. This one is called Softly Sophisticated. Um, definitely a fun option when you spend $100 during celebration, you can choose this one for free. Okay, our last celebration gift item is the Detailed Dogwood Stamp Set. This is a large stamp set. That's why it's in the $100 category. It is a rubber mount, a rubber cling mount stamp set. I have not, <laughs> I haven't put mine together yet. Um, but I can't wait to play with this one. I'm excited that it coordinates with a couple different punches. So this coordinates with the dragonfly punch, and then this little flower coordinates with the park, the P pedal park builder punch. Um, oh, and the ticket punch too. Do we still have that ticket punch? Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm looking behind me. Um... Okay, here's the dragonfly punch. So it doesn't, it's the same shape, but this is like an in-between size. Maybe it's not actual size, yeah. Let's see. It's still an in-between, interesting. It's an in-between size and doesn't totally coordinate with that. Don't we have a ticket punch? Where would that be? Ticket, ticket, ticket. Hmm. I don't see it behind me. Maybe it's retired. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm looking at my comments because I'm sure that one of you know. <laughs> Oh, the ticket dies. The alphabet. Yes, that's what it is. The alphabet. Um... Hold on a second. I have it. There it is. Okay. Yes. See? <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yes, this goes with the Alpha Best stamp set. It has some coordinating um, like outline stamps, and then there's letters that you can punch with it. So this is in the annual catalog, but this shape does coordinate with the punch or with the stamp, <laughs> it is the same size and coordinates um, with that punch. Thank you guys. I knew you would know. You guys are so smart. <laughs> um, so you can, if you don't have that punch, you can always fussy cut it. But this is such a good one to do collage stamping. Uh, I can't wait to play with this one. This one reminds me of mom because she is just all about that shabby chic collage kind of a look. And I know she's going to create some beautiful projects. Um, with this one. I also love some of these borders and some of these things. So we're, we're going to have some fun with the detailed dogwood. I have a couple samples to show you. These are swap cards that I received. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. This first one from Angie Leach. She's got the perennial postage dye a little bit of that um softly sophisticated embossing folder embossing folder and then I love how she colored just a little bit in the center on this dogwood flower so it's not like a full-on color but just adding that little bit that pop do you guys recognize that paper this is from the stippled rose paper softly stippled um a little bit of just a splash of that wild wheat I love it and then some of the new gold um foil embellishments. This almost looks like that leather ribbon, but it's just cardstock with the embossing on it. Can you see the embossing? I think sometimes the, the plastic, <laughs> I don't think you can always see it great with the plastic wrap. 
Anyway, such a gorgeous card. I love that one from Angie. And then this one from Carol Nordquist. And so it looks like she punched, uh, well, it looks like she fussy cut. I was going to say she punched it and trimmed it, but I think she probably just fussy cut that. So a little happy birthday there from the go-to greetings and the deckled rectangles and then some sponging around the edges. No, isn't that pretty? I love, love, love um, what they both did with the stamp set. I can't wait to play with the detailed dogwood. So this is one that you can get for free um, when you spend $100 during celebration. You can choose this one. I love that we have so many options during celebration to choose from. Um, I, I've lost count and I forgot to make my sheet up, um, but we've got, I, I want to say there's like um, well, let's just count them real quick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven options that are free with a $50 order and three options that are free with a $100 order. So all together, <laughs> I can't do simple math. 3 plus 11 is 14. We've got 14 different things to choose from during celebration. I just love that. Especially when we have things like ribbon and the gems that we can use up and um, want to replenish. Tell me what your favorites from the celebration brochure are so I know what to share with you in the coming weeks and months. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we've got some special offers. When you join as a demonstrator, you can get this awesome glass mat studio with a silicone mat and cleaning cloth. I'll be showing some more um, tips and ways that you can use the glass mat studio in upcoming videos. And then if you order $300 or more or host a party, and that can be a catalog or a book party and just order with friends, then you can get an extra $30 in your stamp and rewards. Such a fun way to add on a bonus. We shared a lot of cards today. I, I should have counted them before we got started, but these are all the cards um, that I shared. I hope that you got some inspiration for celebration. Maybe helped you make up your mind on what you might like to order. We also made three cards today. We uh, remade our Sunny Days <laughs> Heartfelt Hello um, card. We made one with the um, Watercolor Melon stamp set and also another one with the Sunny Days designer paper. I hope you enjoyed this video and all the card ideas that I shared tonight. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up uh, it helps me so much on YouTube. It also helps me when you subscribe to my channel. So make sure that you do if you haven't already and ring the bell for notifications so you know the next time that I go live and share project videos. Now, the next video is going to be on Sunday, January 7th. Mom and I've got a very special Sunday stamping episode for you featuring some more ideas using celebration goodies. We're planning out our schedule earlier today and we're really excited about all these amazing new things that we get to play with. Next week on Tuesday, Today we've got our first January showcase for the great big card swap so be sure to tune in for that and then of course every Thursday at 7 15 p.m central time Thursday night stamp therapy thank you so much for tuning in tonight I hope that you have a fabulous weekend um, stay warm stay inside and stamp and send your cards <laughs> send out happy meal and spread those smiles across the miles thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time bye